What's going on everybody and welcome back to Sneaker Huddle Weekly. In today's video, we'll be breaking down the best of the best sneaker drops, where they're gonna be dropping the retail tag versus the expected resale prediction. So if you enjoy sneaker news, be sure to subscribe. We do the segment each and every week. And without further ado, guys, let's get into a little bit of sneaker news. After a delay in the United States for the Air Jordan 12 playoffs, be on the lookout for a potential shot drop before these actually release in the US on March the 1st. This week, we should also see Nike sneaker exclusive access for the Air Jordan 1 Brotherhood. And the fact that it is NBA All-Star Week in Cleveland, Ohio, we will see tons of sneaker passes in Cleveland. Kicking it off on Tuesday, February the 15th, the New Balance 550 in the Team Red and Team Blue colorways will drop on New Balance, Foot Locker, and DTLR. Retail for these two colorways have been set at 110 bucks. The most difficult sizes to cop will be sizes four through size six. You can expect those to be around $200 on the secondary market. And in terms for the other sizes, expect those to be around 150. Also restocking the New Balance 550 in the black and gray and also the white and gray colorway. Retail for both of these pairs is also 110. And you can expect the smaller sizes for the white and gray to be around $200 while the common sizes will be around 130. And when it comes to the black and gray colorway, expect the smaller sizes to be around 130 and the larger sizes to be around retail value at 100 bucks. And we will see a few Nike Dunk restocks this week. First up, the Nike SB Dunk Low in the laser blue colorway. Retail for this SB Dunk is 100 bucks, and you can expect these to be around 175 on the secondary market. Also restocking will be the Nike Dunk Low Tiger Camo. Retail is 100 bucks, and you can expect these pairs to be anywhere from 150 to 230, depending on the size. Moving on to the Nike Dunk High first use in the sale colorway, you can expect these to be around 150 while retail has been set at 110. And summing up the Nike Dunk restocks will be the Nike Dunk Low Venice colorway, also referred to as the Light Violent. Retail is 100 bucks and you can expect these to be 200 all the way to 230 for those larger sizes. Now, the Laser Blue, the Tiger Camo, the first use sale in the Dunk High, and the Venice colorways will drop on Nike Europe. And for the United States, we should see some more of these restocks coming very soon. Moving over to Wednesday, February the 16th, the Air Jordan 1 Dark Marina Blue will finally drop in the United States. Now expect Finish Line and JD Sports status access on February the 14th, Monday. So be sure to follow us on Twitter and enable post notifications. And of course, we will see sneaker passes on February 15th. Now this pair in particular will drop on many, many retailers within the United States. And if you are going to be in Cleveland, would expect these to be at the Foot Locker pop-up on release day. And they'll also have a Nike sneaker store there in Cleveland. So would expect these to be widely available within the city if you are going to be at All-Star Weekend. But pertaining to where exactly these are going to be dropping, I will leave the links to all these sneakers in the description below. Retail for the pair has been set at 170 bucks. And to be honest with you guys, I cannot see these getting lower than they are right now. Would expect these to be around 220 bucks and that's pretty much where they are right now. Can't see these getting much lower. This release reminds me so, so much of the Shadow 2.0 release. Nobody really wanted those at first but over the last eight months, those are all the way up to around $320. So I would expect a very, very similar pattern for this dark marina blue colorway. Moving over to Thursday, February 17th, the Nike Dunk Low Familia will drop on Nike sneakers in the United States. Retail for these pairs have been set at 120 bucks and you can expect all sizes to be slightly above 150 bucks on the secondary market. Also dropping on Thursday will be the brand new edition of the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact in the slate red colorway. Retail for this new model has been set at 230 bucks. And when it comes to the demand for these on the secondary market, to be honest with you guys, I don't know. Taking a look at the slate blue colorway, those ended up being around 260 to 270. So not too many people really wanted this new compact edition of the 350 v2 but the fact that this is a red color these might do a little better i would say that these are probably going to end up around 300 dollars depending on stock now moving to friday the most exciting sneaker drop for the entire week or at least for me is of course lamello balls puma collaboration with rick and morty 
These LaMelo Ball sneakers have been extremely difficult to find and would expect the exact same thing for this Rick and Morty collaboration. Retail for the collab has been set 135 bucks. These will drop on Puma and Foot Locker. And of course, if you are in All-Star Week in Cleveland, would expect a Puma pop-up shop to have these sneakers. But would at least expect these to be 175 and up. Also dropping on Friday will be the Nike Dunk Low, Mita's Gold that will restock on Finish Line and JD Sports or at least it's on the calendar right now. Retail for the pair is 100 bucks and you can expect this colorway of the Dunk Low to be anywhere from 160 to 200. Also loaded on the Finish Line and JD Sports calendar as of right now, Saturday when I'm recording this video is the women's Nike Dunk Low in the Paisley Blue colorway. Retail is 120. And for this new edition of the Paisley Nike Dunks, you can expect all of these to be $250 and up. Moving over to Saturday, February 19th, the Air Jordan 12 playoffs will drop in Europe. Retail for the pairs have been set at $200. And for the playoff 12s, or at least in the United States, would expect these to be $250 and up. While Europe receives the Air Jordan 12 playoffs, the United States will receive the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red. Now this is a super clean Air Jordan 3 and if you haven't seen our review yet or if you're just interested to the details of the Cardinal Red 3s and if this is a cop or a drop, I will leave our on foot review right there in the top right hand corner. Be sure to check it out. I'll also leave it in the description below. And of course, I'll also leave in the description all the retail sites that are going to be dropping these pairs. But retail for the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red has been set at 200 bucks. And in terms of our resale prediction, I would expect these to be 250 and up. And a pair that we haven't seen restock in a very, very long time, the Adidas Yeezy 500 in the blush colorway. Retail is 200 bucks. These will restock worldwide. The last time that these sneakers restocked, Resale prices got all the way down to 240, but I do think that a lot of people are extremely excited to see this colorway come back. So I would say that these end up being anywhere from 280 to 300 bucks. And of course, one of the most famous Air Jordan 1 low colorways, the Mocha in grade school sizes retail has been set at 85 bucks. These will drop exclusively on Nike US. In terms of the resale prediction, you can expect all sizes to be $200 and up. Comment down below what are your top three sneakers that you would like to pick up this week. For me, the one sneaker that I am after is of course gonna be the Yeezy 500 blush. I really love the Yeezy 500 and in this blush colorway, you can't go wrong. And for people in the United States, I would say that the Air Jordan 1 Dark Marina Blue, a super clean colorway and a super slept on colorway at the moment, these are not gonna be an easy pickup and I wouldn't even be surprised if the prices, the resale prices jump up after the release when people do strike out on this pair because the quality, what it seems like for the Marina Blue is okay. It's not anything too crazy, but the colorway is really, really good in my opinion. So that would be my second favorite. And third would be the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red. The quality on this Air Jordan 3 is absolutely phenomenal. So if you would like to see the details of that sneaker, be sure to check it out right there on the end screen. And if you're new to the channel and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that blue subscribe button to never miss a beat.